In this video, we're gonna be editing this lifestyle reel from start to finish. I'll teach you the fastest and easiest way to edit lifestyle videos while creating an engaging story in the process. And I'll be dropping all of my secret sauce throughout this entire video, so make sure to stick around all the way to the end. And my name is Torsten Rosco. Let's start editing this video. The first thing I always do in order to really just kind of eliminate all of the useless tasks and everything is I make sure I have everything like organized right away. So make sure that you have the source monitor up. And if you go to Windows, come under the source monitor right here, click on that and then put it right here. What the source monitor lets us do is just if we use the in and out. So for instance, let's say I don't want this clip right here. So this like first half, if I just hit in, it'll select this area right here and then out and then the rest of this area that's not highlighted in this in and out will not come with it. And then the better thing yet is if I just drag and drop this, as you can see, it gives me just this selected area. So you can see this. And then if I don't select this area, so I can show you really quick, if I just clear the in and out and then I grab it, you can see that, that I just grab the entire clip. So that's what the in and outs do. And if you don't want this audio, because when you, uh, I grab the in and out, but the audio came with it. We can just kind of go back where I want it. So like right, I wanna grab right here. I hit I and then I go O for in and out. Grab this right here, this kind of like movie clip it looks like. If you just want the video layer, just like so, boom. Now you don't have to unlink it and get rid of that and just create that useless task out. It's just gonna waste a lot of time. And if you just want the audio, you can just come over to this drag and drop it well, obviously there's no audio to this clip so there's no point in grabbing it unless you did some kind of audio with it then that's fine you can just drag the entire thing for me i'm just going to do a full voiceover so we don't need to grab that now for all of these clips i'm strictly going to just look at what type of things i want so for instance i just want this piece right here I'm just gonna drag and drop it. It doesn't really have to all be the same, just kind of get them pretty lengthy because we're just gonna cut them up. But for right now, all we have to do is do the basic layout. So just grab all your clips that you want and are in the storyline. If you're probably thinking like, how do I get this to be organized so I can just look at one shot right here and then my story goes on the next and it's just compounding and I don't have to search for every single shot and where like what parts of stories because it's all messed up. Come down here to this like filter icon right here with these three lines and then hit label. It then will organize these from the first shot you started to the last shot in order from the shots and then, then your story can just be lined up. It's a simple just drag and drop process. I'm going to quickly do this really quick. Do a little, do a little dance. Yeah. So once I added all my clips, this is kind of what it looks like. Don't be daunted or be scared away at this because it's gonna be super easy to cut up and everything. And I like to use this effect, it's called a teleport effect. That's what I like to call it. And it's simply go to each and every single one of them. So you got to zoom in, use the razor tool. So hit C and then just make a shit ton of cuts, like uh, uh, an absurd amount, just like so. Like I'm just clicking randomly, just a certain amount, and then you zoom in and then delete like half of these. The reason why I like to do this is because it really kind of gives us like this cool, like kind of sped up version that instead of just, you know, you walking in and it takes like the entire three seconds just for you to walk, instead it shows the entire clip, but in a really short amount of time and that's what people like. They want to know exactly what is going on and what is your life about? And then we can just delete these by just clicking that in the middle and then hit W if you have the ripple tool or hit delete and then just do all of this just like so. I'm gonna cut this one up, delete that just like so. Once you've did all that, let's cut these really quick too. These are too big. I'm just gonna delete every other one. Like so. This is what we get it like when it is finished. See this kind of like, it's sped up and everything. It looks really nice. And then I'm just gonna do this throughout the entire rest of all of my videos. Make sure that each, every single part is about, I'd say two seconds to three seconds from B-roll to B-roll. So this one you can see it's about two seconds and 10 seconds. That's a little too long. So I'm just gonna cut this and stuff. And now it just kind of brings it to this and then it'll go straight to the next one, which is this B-roll shot. And then I'll switch to the next one in like two seconds to 
three seconds, I would recommend going around. Once you did that, it should end up all looking exactly like this. Real quick, when you're doing this, here's a little trick I like to use that really just helps. If you use the in and out, so if you hit I again, but on the timeline, it's gonna bring up here and out. If you go to the first clip you're trying to work on, so for instance, I already cut up all of these clips over here, so then it just looks like this really nicely, but I'm right now trying to cut all this up. If you are having a hard time like uh, figuring out which is which, if you just use the in and out and highlight all the ones that you are working on, then you won't, when you scroll in and zoom in, you won't get confused and accidentally delete these clips. Another thing I'm doing when I'm cutting this is making sure that like these boring parts are a lot shorter than the other parts. So for like example, this is gonna be one of my highlights of me personally so this is going to be longer this like juice part of me but then this when i'm eating is going to be extremely short as you can see like this is literally less than like a second or a second maximum just because the viewer is not going to be wanting to watch you eat because it's just a boring part of the story but it's essential to really lay out what's happening throughout the day now that we have our entire story kind of done, as you can see right here, what I like to do is kind of section these into certain parts to help me do my voiceover in a easier and more flowy way. So what I mean by that is I'll go through here, I'll say, I'll see like my first start. So I'll hit my in and then this will be the part about me starting my day, creating my thumbnails. This is just me kind of working, listening to music, what I like to do, listen to music, and then here is my end of my kind of work day. So what I like to do then is hit out and then come up here and mark this. So hit M and it'll mark this and then you can just double click into here, change the color or anything and then just name this like, I'll just do thumbnails part. So then when I do the vo voiceover, I'm going to be voiceovering this in Premiere Pro and as this plays, I'm going to know that it's coming to an end, so I'll wrap up my voiceover. And in order for us to make the voiceover, you come down here and you click on this little icon. The reason why mine is grayed out right now is because I don't have a voiceover record setting. So if you come into here and it has no output, that means that you're literally not going to be talking, so that's why it's gonna be grayed out. So make sure when you come in here and you hit your source, it's going to just grab any time of your, your can, you can use your iPhone if you have a Mac and connected to all of this, or if you have a mic like I'm using right now, I'm going to be using that voiceover. So I'll make my voiceover and then we'll review my voiceover so you guys can make yours more engaging and easier. I'm gonna put you on some secret sauce right now. What I like to do with recording, as you can see on the right, you just have to rep. You have to keep constantly doing and doing and doing it. And the ways that really helped me do it throughout this entire process and kind of cut into segments is by using the in and outs. So as I scroll in here, you can see that I recorded this audio and then I went to this one. In order to like start right here, so for instance, I wanna start my new audio clip right here and it didn't all the way start to the left. What you can do is hit the in right at the last of your out. So like right here. And then when we hit record, it's gonna start exactly where this in starts. So I'm gonna hit it and let's, let's listen to Banger song, these are the results. Honestly, I think they're a banger. After, After that, that, I got I ready, ready for the, the gym. gym. See? Then it starts exactly where it's at in. Really helpful tool to just keep doing again and again and again. And another thing I like to do when we listen to this, I'm gonna show you just like my personality to make it extremely interesting so the viewer is constantly engaged. So let's just listen to it and then I'll tell you my kind of input. That I got ready for the gym. I'm gonna put you on some sauce right now. This is my meal prep I love to do. And make sure to smack that protein powder. It gets it alive and makes it into this cream. Pour it onto your oats. Accidentally made this smiley face or somehow. Put on some berries and banger. Had to water. You can hear how I'm really kind of engaged when I'm talking and kind of making it feel like I'm right next to that person or I'm just trying to be kind of funny at the same time. People love to just listen to that and see all the little things that happen throughout your day unexpected. Like I had here that smiley face. I didn't purposely make that smiley face. It just happened. And same with like the berries. I accidentally bought the wrong berries and just stuff like this. I like to smack my protein powder every single time I do it. I don't know why, but it's just like, it's just a me thing. Make sure when you're doing your kind of voiceover and you have all these things to import them and talk about them because 
that's the things that are going to just build your story and make it better so then your entire video is engaging and people want to watch it now we're going to be going on to our last and final and most important step to tie this all thing together and if we don't actually have this no one's going to be watching this and that's our hook and to be honest with you guys i used to suck so much at hooks that's why i created these drag and drop hooks that are already pre-made for me so i don't have to waste countless hours i just come in here this one actually looks pretty good but there's a bunch of other ones let's just kind of look at what one looks good and we'll go from there so if i just drag and drop this it this gives is the me day this. in life as like that's pretty cool i actually really like that but if we just hit Control z and look at other ones this one's actually pretty good. This one actually could work with my foot just because it's pretty tall and I'm not really in the talking head. So if I just drag and drop it just like so, and then look at it. This is the day in a life as a full. This is pretty cool. I could put this is the day in a life as a full-time creative down here. Or if we wanna look at just some other ones, this one would be pretty cool. That one also would be pretty cool. I love that one. Like these are just so easy to use too. Like, oh my God. This is pretty cool. I don't think this one will work just because I just don't want it to. That one, no. I really, really love this one though. I think we could do something like combine these a little bit maybe. No, I'll just use this one. So if I just drag and drop it over here, plop it onto my footage, just like so, and then put it right here. And then we're just gonna come in, zoom in here. I'm gonna double click into here and replace this text. Day in the life. We'll come over to the properties tab. We'll obviously put this down a little bit just so then it kind of fix that. And then I'll put full time CREAT. Creative, highlight all these again, scroll down the font size, and we'll actually make this into two separate layers just so. And then this is our final result after I took like maybe five seconds to this, this is the day in life as a full-time <laughs> that's so good what the fuck creative and then i could just get a nice transition this is the day in life oh as a full-time creative i start and if you want to get all those hooks you can find them in the link in the description in my short form retention timelines and hooks pack and if you guys want to learn more on how to edit videos for your content creation go click this video right over here see you in the next one peace